New name for these videos, if you didn't notice. They are now called Mere Minutes. Woodbits is now defunct. <laughs> Gone. Uh, a couple of people over on Facebook mentioned that uh, the name didn't make sense because I wasn't necessarily talking about wood a lot. And that hit me and I thought, yeah, you're right. I really shouldn't call that. And then so somebody else had the suggestion of mere minutes or mortal minutes or mere mortal minutes or something like that, which of course I love the alliteration of that. So I decided to go with mere minutes and I will try to keep these as short as possible so that they will be they will last just mere minutes and I will try to keep them related to woodworking at least a little bit of it related to woodworking uh, but let me show you something that happened a few days ago at my house let me come out here to the deck it's really warm out here see that window over there well there was a window in here <laughs> <laughs> it's all busted now. Uh, yeah, we busted it with a ball. We were out here. We, we invented this game called One Bounce. It's really cool. But anyway, so the ball went shing, ping, ping, and busted that window. So I now have another project to do <laughs> this weekend. So I was, you know, going around YouTube and how-to sites and everything trying to figure out how to replace that window. And it doesn't look that hard. So uh, if I get some time this weekend, I certainly don't have to worry about it raining for a few more months. So uh, I may do that. You remember during my dovetail lid box video that I mentioned that the dovetail bit was going up and down. Well, Tim Sluter over on Facebook found a video from Fine Woodworking and posted it on there that explains exactly what I was doing wrong. And so here's a little tip for you. I'm totally plagiarizing Fine Woodworking on this one. So this is something I actually never knew about before, that when you have a router bit and you place it in your router, you never place it all the way down. And that was the problem with my router bit. Apparently the, the collet doesn't grasp the bit on this top part. So when you put it in the router, you need to pull it up just a little bit. Well, the guy on Fine Woodworking, whose idea I'm stealing, <laughs> what he does is he takes rubber O-rings. Okay, so I don't have a rubber O-ring to fit this yet, but imagine that this is a rubber O-ring, okay? <laughs> and he just slides it down on his bits and it stays right there and puts it down and it gives him just that amount of clearance. So yeah, and I suppose you could put it down and then just lift it up and tighten it each time, but you know, hey, that makes it a little bit simpler. Okay, so I just came in and was gonna put together that video, this video, and I decided to look up that O-ring tip again and double check that that was <laughs> fine woodworking and uh, sure enough, it's not fine woodworking. It's uh, Woodsmith Tips. It's from Woodsmith. They also do fine woodworking, <laughs> but it's not fine woodworking. So, you know, there's, a, there's an old joke about that. You know, uh, the memory is the second thing to go. <laughs> Now, of course, naturally, you're sitting there saying, oh, what's the first? I can't remember. 